bait them, bomb them. Enough said. Hello, my lovely monsters. I am Foster the Silver Chimera, and I'm back with a strand build for the Hunter, and it's proved quite useful in Onslaught. So let's get to it. Part one, the weapon. We're using the exotic auto rifle, Quicksilver Storm. Its exotic trait is Rocket Tracer. Landing multiple hits turns your next shot into a homing micro rocket. So as you lay hate, occasionally it spits out a rocket that does a bit more damage. The next perk is Grenade Chaser. Landing multiple rocket shots loads a grenade. Long press the reload button to switch into grenade launcher mode. So as you spin out rockets, it loads some grenades to shoot. And finally, we have the catalyst, Nano Entanglement. This weapon's damage type becomes Strand. Final blows with the grenades from this weapon create tangles. As you can see, this gun can do it all. Good rate of fire, easy to control, shoot stuff while you're shooting stuff, and it can make tangles. Part two, the armor. We're rocking the exotic leg armor, the Bombardiers. They come with the perk, Parting Gift. Dodging leaves behind an explosive that detonates after a short delay, damaging targets around it and creating a secondary effect based on your subclass energy. Strand severs targets. With this equipped, we can now use our flippy dippies offensively. And when the bomb goes off, enemies do less damage to you. It's a fun time, but let's crank it up a notch. Part three, class and mods. We're on the Threadrunner. You can use either dodge. I like marksman's for quick reloads, but gambler's dodge could be useful too for more melees. As for your grenade, I'd recommend either the Threadling or the Shackle. Both have their uses. Personally, I'm running Threadling because it's fun. As for our aspects, first up is Threaded Spectre. Activating your class ability leaves behind a decoy woven from strand matter that draws the attention of nearby combatants. After taking significant damage, or when combatants approach, the decoy detonates, dealing damage and releasing Threadlings that seek out and attack nearby foes. This felt like a natural fit since it synergizes with our legs. Now, the Flippy Dippies leave a clone and a bomb. When the bomb goes off, it severs bitches. When the decoy goes off, it makes threat links. Our second aspect is Whirling Maelstrom. Destroying a tangle will weave a violent, writhing mass of strand fibers. The strand mass seeks out and damages targets, emitting unraveling projectiles when it defeats them. We're gonna be making a lot of tangles. So let's turn them into little spinning tops of death and destruction. It's a thing of beauty if you ask me. For our fragments, first up is Thread of Rebirth. Strand weapon final blows have a chance to create Threadlings. As far as I'm concerned, you can never have too many Threadlings. Next is Thread of Evolution. Threadlings travel farther and deal additional damage, plus 10 to intellect. The only thing better than a lot of Threadlings is a lot of juiced up Threadlings. Next, Thread of Generation. Dealing damage generates green energy, minus 10 to discipline. I say this is a good pick because we have a lot of wiggly woos everywhere, so why not get a boatload of grenade energy? Finally, Thread of Continuity. Suspend, unravel, and sever effects applied to targets have increased duration. We have a lot of unraveling and severing going on here, so let's just extend the timer of that as much as possible. Moving over to our artifacts, the dynamic duo is unraveling orbs and horde shuttle, since this is a strand build. I also recommend Dragon's Bite for the occasional suspend on a shield break. And don't forget that this season we have Overload Auto Rifle, so Quicksilver can deal with champions, which is always nice. Like always, use whatever mods fit your playstyle and the content you're running. As for our armor mods, on the head we want Dynamo for more super energy, Ashes to Assets for the same reason, then round it out with a Siphon mod for orb generation. On the arms, heavy-handed for arm generation, impact induction for grenade energy, momentum transfer for melee energy. On the chest, we want charged up for more armor charges, and you can also throw on some reserve mods if you want, or maybe throw on emergency reinforcements to have some survivability. On our legs, we want one strand surge mod for more damage, recuperation for more health, and innervation for more grenade energy. Finally, on the class item, distribution for more ability energy, and reaper for more of those beautiful orbs. With all of these pieces put together, you get a build that lets you bamboozle your enemies while you flood the battlefield with Threadlings and Maelstroms. I feel like this excels a lot in Onslaught. Strand and Unraveling Rounds works wonders in the Agler department, and the combination of the decoy and the bombardiers lets you fill choke points with all that glorious green goodness. But now, I gotta talk about the most important part of any Destiny build. Part 4. The Fashion. This is the outfit I came up with, and I dig it. I try to make everything flow with the aesthetic of the bombardiers. So I use the, I'm gonna mess this up, Legatus, Legatus, Grip Arms, and the Meridian Constellation Tunic for the chest. And I think they mesh with the legs. 
Then I used the Pathfinder helmet and the Psionic Stalker cloak for a little bit of style and those piercing red accents. Finally, I used the Melting Point shader to give it a hint of silver to match the exotic weapon. I think it's slick, yet stunning. Kind of like the build if you think about it. Henceforth, this build will be known as Silver Bomb because the enemy may be at our doorstep. The forces of the witness might be filling our streets, but you can make the best of a bad situation. So go now, style on the bad guys, draw their attention and leave them in pieces. What's that old saying about silver linings again? So that's the build. Please tell me your thoughts. Do you like the loadout? Do you like the outfit? Or maybe there are a few adjustments you'd make. Talk to me in the comment section below. If you don't know what to say, how about bombs away? That feels right. Shout out to all the new subscribers. We're almost at 600, which is insane. So I just want to say thank you, welcome, and I hope you enjoy your stay. If this build sounded fun, feel free to check it out. My playlist is right here. If you're a fan of Destiny's lore or you just want to hear more of my sexy voice, I have a playlist of lore ratings right here. So check that out if you want. As we wrap things up, if you could do me one last favor and gently nibble on the subscribe button's ear, that would be great. I am Foss of the Silver Chimera. I hope you have a wonderful day. I will see all of you beautiful monsters next time.